Are you part of a nonprofit organization, a youth group looking to raise cash for your cause? Stay tuned at the end of this video to learn how you can bring the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation to your town live, featuring the superstars and legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Join WWE, Mattel, and Toys R Us in a teaming to benefit Make-A-Wish with this custom John Cena action figure, designed by Make-A-Wish child Alex from Los Angeles. The figure will be available exclusively at Toys R Us beginning Tuesday, August 15th, and you can pre-order yours right now through July 31st at ToysRUs.com. Mattel will be donating a portion of the proceeds to Make-A-Wish. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorndorf. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world. Welcome to another installment of Wrestling Insiders. I'm Dan Marotti, joined by the one and only Mr. John Cena Sr. Johnny, pleasure to have you here again. Thank you, my friend. We've uh, created some insightful videos for fans in recent time. They really enjoyed your How to Break Into Professional Wrestling video. It's become very popular on YouTube. Lending a, a helping hand. Well, I think it was a two-way street. You helped as much as I did, so we had our well, own input on different sides, different opinions. You know, it worked I just want to see everybody do good that deserves it. Everyone that wants to do it the right way. How to get there on those roads, I guess that can be heavily debated, and we have over the years. We have debated that. Johnny, right now we have a very, I'm going to call it a troubling situation in the world of professional wrestling. Um, there was a more recent incident this week, but this has gone on now for the better part of a year between Alberto Del Rio and Page, Johnny. Um, you may have heard uh, this past Sunday at Orlando International Airport, there was an altercation between the two at a restaurant. Um, drinks were thrown, uh, swearing. Uh, Del Rio insinuated that Paige had cocaine in her luggage that somehow made it through the TSA. Uh, Paige's family said that Del Rio's been beating her for months. It's not a good situation. I'm going to give you an answer that you're not going to like. All right. That's their business, not mine. That's personal. That's private. That's where it belongs. If they have a situation, um, El Patron, um, I respect him. Paige, I respect her. They're both adults. We don't need to get involved in their personal problems. You know, the situation, in my opinion, any situation with any wrestling star is always blown out of proportion, always made to look worse than it is. I don't know what went on. It's all secondhand information. Well, it's, no, the audio is well, but you available know what? for anyone There again, that was done by a fan. So you know what? All I'm going to say is this. El Patron, Alberto Del Rio, Jose Rodriguez, Paige, you deserve your privacy. Leave them alone. Let them work well, it out. You're you know, worried. Johnny, if this was done, in the, and I agree with you 90% of the way, but these outbursts are public situations. This isn't happening in their home. This is happening in an airport. This is happening, you know, how many times have they been arrested in recent times? It's a very troubling situation, I, and I many, think it's headed down a very, very dark path. Uh, once again, you know what? I can't, I can't quote on it. I can't get involved in it. Well, it's a because, matter of public record when you have police involved and it. it just isn't well, one incident but from where the police were right involved. now there are no charges no there are not there are no charges i don't remember when del rio was arrested um, several times uh, i don't remember that i you know what and, and well, it began again, last year at the money in the bank in las vegas well when page was driven off in an ambulance here's the situation that's going to happen all unfortunately. right let's hear it and i'm not I, i'm not getting involved in their private lives all right what is at stake here is something that i don't think either really wants your career Big time. Okay? Big time. To me, if I were in their shoes, and I'm not, 
I would look very closely at where I want to be and where I am. That's all I'm saying to them. Look very closely at where you are and where you want to be. You know, um, think what you want about GWF or TNA or Impact Wrestling, WWE. Think about whatever you want. But if it were I, I'm saying, whoa, hold on. I'm saying I have two years left to wrestle. I'm saying I want to continue in the female end to wrestle. Where am I going? Well, if I listen to you and listen to the clowns on the Internet, and I'm being wise when I say that, they're both going to hell in a wire basket. Their career is tarnished. It's over. It's finished. It's through. Think about what you're doing before you do it. What was the real cause? What brought this on? I have no idea. I'm not getting in the middle of it. I refuse to comment on it. I will comment on it from a professional standpoint, and that is career, career. Here or here. Now, I will say this. What is being said is true, that he's been stripped of the title, uh, or he, you know, well, that's a very serious thing because the next thing that usually happens is you're no longer with us. Well, let me ask you this from a professional standpoint. Uh, we took part in a media conference yesterday with Jeff Jarrett, and uh, Alberto has been suspended uh, pending the outcome of the investigation. Uh, do you think that was the right call? First of all... Where no charges have been filed, is it? There yet? are no charges. All right. So what are you investigating? What are you investigating? And it's worth noting, WWE did not suspend Page. I agree with that because, look... This is like baking a pie and not having all the ingredients. You're going on bits and pieces. I got to give credit to the Florida police, the Orlando Police Department. They're handling it the right way. No comment. We're still sifting through the flour. Once we get to the lard, we'll let you know. And then if there's more that we need to put in this pie, we'll do it and let you know the whole story. Right now, it appears to me it was a disruptive situation with two adults that reached a point it never should have reached. From a professional point of view, do you think perhaps WWE should have gone to greater lengths to try and keep the unit intact when they did that draft last summer, where they've made accommodations for couples in the past? Del Rio has accused WWE of purposely trying to break them up, and Paige has alluded to the fact, even though she's still with the company on her social media, without coming out directly making that statement. Well, first of all, I think, I think, and I'll go back to your original question because I kind of sidetracked there. I think that the decision made by GWF was the correct decision. You do? Okay. Oh, I kind of took it as you didn't. No, and the only reason I say that is because here's a company that's trying to gain some recognition. Look, it's an incident between a male and a female. Potential salt and battery. Okay, you have to do what's right, and what's right is we haven't placed any guilt on anyone. But what we have to do is say, stop. So we are going to stop. You're off the card for a while. Until we get the basis for whatever has happened, if you're found guilty, well then, we're going to proceed as we should. If you're found innocent, your belt's back, you're back, everybody's happy. I think WWE missed the boat. They should have done the same thing to Paige. I'm, I'm talking about that professionalism. That was going to be a follow-up. Sure, yep. sure. I'm not talking about two individuals because I'm not getting involved in their private lives. What you do is private. That's up to you. But as far as WWE goes, they were pretty swift to take action against others with the same situation. So you know what? All I'm going to say is this. I guess your turn would be what's good for the goose is good for the gander. You have violated past practice. So Paige should have been suspended immediately, just like Del Rio. I agree with that because on Twitter, she's changed her story, I don't know how many times, but in one version of the story, she claimed she was the one that attacked him. So if she's putting guilt on herself, whether she's going to change the story or not, I don't know. But I could see certainly an opportunity for WWE to suspend her. I, I just would think if I'm WWE, that's a situation I just want to be done with because it's been nothing but a headache for over a year for them between all the drug violations and the suspensions, the social media nonsense. I don't know if you heard about Del Rio uh, challenging Triple H to a fight at his restaurant in the New Day in the Usos last week. It's just, and, and the gentleman that asked this question, Frank Ferrante, he also wanted to know, and 
I don't know if this was meant as a joke, but you could take it as a serious question. Um, we discussed some of the videos and photos that have been leaked of the ladies. In the one where Paige um, included the NXT Women's Championship belt, do you think that there could have been possible means for a suspension due to destruction of company property? Because you have to look at it. That is a championship belt that kids hold at personal appearances. And she held it in some of those pictures. It's, it, it was a meet and greet of a different kind. First. I can't even put, if anyone does first. not know what I'm talking about, I cannot put the picture on this video. Well, first, let me just tell you this. I have not seen the video. All right. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll be honest. All I know is that something was leaked. Uh, Literally. A, a sex tape was leaked. <laughs> um, was A couple of wrestlers were involved. Several. Uh, well, but you know what? Those people shouldn't be with company anymore. I'm sorry no, to wait say a, So wait a minute. All right. Um, you, you finish and I'm going to go back to that. Because uh, this is great conversation. Yeah, I'm Even sure it is. Even if we disagree. I'm sure it is. Um, if that belt was held in such high esteem, if that belt really means what it's supposed to mean, and that belt was violated, how I don't know, but you say it was violated. That it was his, molested, in other words. Well, then you know what you need to do? You need to make an example of the person that violated it. Really? And I'll tell you what, I'm not Vince McMahon. I just have a poor old John Cena still waiting to have an action figure made. But you know what? If it were I, six months suspension without pay. Might have been something to say, we don't tolerate this. WWE is not proud of what was done. We're not proud of our superstars. And you know what? What's his name there? Mr. Woods? Was he involved in this also? He was involved, he yes. He certainly was. He had it in for her, from what I understand. So here's my thing. You're going to pay a price, too. But you're going to pay a price, too. You cannot say that we are the PG. We are the epitome of what's right and wrong without disciplining those who are involved in this, quote-unquote, orgy or misconduct. <laughs> but, Johnny, all Xavier Woods did was have sex. You're going to suspend him for having sex? Let me put it to you this way. It was leaked. That's the problem. The problem is what was done. Two people having sex. Well, three. But I understand that. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> We're getting into to an, uh, an area that um, I'm, uh, I don't want to get in trouble here. My whole thing is this. I think that what happened happened. And I'll tell you what. First of all, for the Usos, and I, I, I very rarely do I click on the TV, but I happen to be there because it was a rap thing. I'm going, oh, well, I rap when I'm in the ring. Cena used to rap. I want to see what these individuals are going to go, bebop, bop, bop, bop. Then when they brought that line in about Woods and, and uh, I, about the, the tape, I'm going, why? Why? First of all, it wasn't funny. Secondly, it was, it was, it was done in poor taste. Um, you know, I, I just don't understand. If you're going to beat the, the living stuffing out of it, why don't you do something that's meaningful? I have no idea what you do with that belt. I really don't. And I'm being honest to the crowd, the fans, and you. I didn't see the tape. Uh, maybe I should look at it. I have no idea. But my whole thing is this. If it means that much, then somebody should have been punished. And you know what? It's not the fact that Xavier Woods had sex with her. The fact was, he was part of the desecration of the belt. No, no, no. Xavier Woods was not part of the belt incident. All you can tell is... Was that he was... present? All you can tell is that it's Paige and a white male. Was Woods still present? Who was doing the filming? That I don't know. Well, it had to be the you're third guy in the triangle. Johnny. No, you've got to realize something, Johnny. These You're talking about, there were four or five different unique videos with different people involved, and there were pictures where you couldn't make out the male. You know what? With the, what happened with the belt was, I'll say this, the belt was, you've ever, uh, in the winter time on? when you have friends and family over whatnot for the holidays, now you make some warm cinnamon buns, and then you take out the frosting. That's what happened to the poor championship belt. Uh, but all you can tell is that it was with a white male, if you know what I mean. No, I'll I don't, tell you this. I'd have to see the video. It, you can, well, I'll tell you this, Johnny. And I think you... You want to show me the video, then I'll comment. This wasn't a video. It was a still photograph. Well, I have to see the photograph. It was. It was a white male. No doubt about it. You know, 
I'm only going to say this, and, and I, I'm not a prude. And believe me when I tell you. No, you're I not am, a prude. I am not a prude. But you know what? First of all, I don't understand what goes through people's heads or minds. Why you would even allow yourself to be filmed or put in that position. Why? Either you were totally drugged out, boozed out, or just effed up. But why? Why would you do that? Was she the champion at the time and had that belt? Yeah. So that ends it for me. If you can't respect the belt and respect the company, you know what? Good luck on your future endeavors. You're fired. And that's what needed to be done. I'm sorry, but you know what? Vince, you always said you had grapefruits, but now I think we're looking at grapes. Wow, Johnny. Holy moly cow. Well, maybe you'll call me up and say, you asked, you know. No. They'll have you on that show with uh, JBL and Corey Graves on the network. Yeah, right. I don't um, think so. Let me ask you this, though, Johnny. I'm black Do you, If you are a, we've been looking at it from the Millennium Wrestling Federation, say we had full-time contracts, and this is now becoming an issue with all of these sex tapes and videos and photographs that have been released and leaked online and so on. Do you think they should, I know there are character clauses in the contracts, do you think it should cover the release of X-rated material where you are a family friendly public company. Nude photos, X-rated, yes, I agree. You know why? First of all, I'm a little bit confused. How does it get hacked and released? I mean, how does it happen to any celebrity? Well, that I don't but, know. Well, you know, you, look at Charlotte. I guess her nude photos were, were put out there. Um, I haven't seen those either. I don't think I really want to. But at the, the, the fact of the matter they, those is... Those were very timid compared to the Charlotte... Uh, I'm sorry, the page releases. The fact of the matter is, you allowed somebody to photograph you without your clothes on, and they got leaked. Why? In all honesty, Mr. Marathi, I sit here and say to you, and I offer this up to the fans and everybody else. I want to hear it. If you're stupid enough to have that done, you always risk the chance of an irate girlfriend, irate boyfriend, break up. Guess the, what the first thing I'm going to do to you, Mr. Marathi, is says Linda Marathi, and I'm only, no offense, Linda, but they're going out on the internet. Do you realize how many people's reputations have been hurt? I don't know if you all saw that on Netflix. Um, they had a whole program on exactly this type of thing. Really? How women and men, their careers were destroyed. People were suffering mentally from this stuff. Sure. No. That's, Why that's, do you yeah. allow yourself to be put in these positions? I, I, I see Figuratively here, and physically. I, I, I'm sitting back going, I'm perplexed. And again, I'm not a prude. I really no. am not. But there are things that you have to look up and say, ho, oh, oh, this is not going to be a take. It's not going to be videoed on my phone. We're not using a video camera. It's just not happening. First of all, it tells me one thing. What does it tell you? And when Brian? I look at Woods and the other white male, you have no respect for yourself or the woman that you're with. That is horrible. Where is the respect for that other person? There isn't any. You are just another piece. And I'm putting it right out wow. there, ladies. You can like it or not, but I have respect for the women. Learn to... Uh, well, I'm getting if, started on here. I, I, I shouldn't. I'll, I'll flip the coin. What if the woman consents to have it videotaped? You still disagree with it. You know what? Consensual in what manner, in what way? You know what? Oh, I promise, I promise, I promise, Molly, this is never going to... No, this is for... What's that, James Bond? For your eyes only? Until you dump me, and then how do I get back at you? Oh, guess what's going out on Twitter? Guess what's going out on YouTube? You know what? Why would you even put yourself in that position? Unless it's a SIM card, and I give you that SIM card back. Now you control those pictures and what's been done. It's a not a very smart, wise thing to do. It's stupid. In any aspect of life, it's not just wrestling. Thank you very much. Look at this blue whale thing, I guess. I don't know if this is a real thing or not. Who, it? me? No, no. On, oh. On, on AOL, uh, AOL, I guess I just read a story on AOL. Where the they, blue they this whale? The blue whale challenge where these kids are going on. It's a game you play. 50 different challenges. Mutilate yourself. Carve a number in your arm. And it ends with a 15-year-old boy just committed suicide. Never heard of it. Well, go to AOL and check it out. I could be all wet on this one. But you know what? Why? I don't understand this. Why? And they say, oh, it was meant to be a joke. 
Well, there are four people dead now. It's not funny, is it? Wow. No, certainly not. There's well, a woman's reputation that's been marred and ruined. It's not funny more, is it? I'll ask you this, Johnny, in closing. I think that pretty much the book can be closed on Alberto Del Rio and WWE in the future with the, the physical threats that he has made and some of the other comments he's made on social media. But Page remains under contract to the company. As things stand now, and with what has gone on over the past year with two suspensions, police involved, uh, social media issues up the yin yang the the belt issue do you think it's possible for Paige to return to wwe as a uh, active competitor once she's recovered from neck surgery no no my answer is this i'm not vince mcmahon i'm not triple h paul levesque i'm not stephanie mcmahon or shane mcmahon that woman would not would not be on my payroll i would end her contract and end it now because when she comes back the unfortunate Thing about it is she's going to be welcome back to cheers of we saw your tape you did this the belt looks good now doesn't it it's just not going to be a pretty thing for the company or her the damage unfortunately and like I said your private life is your private life I'm not getting into it I'm looking at it professionally professionally you've committed suicide so you know what let's make this amenable for everybody are they afraid that she's going to sign up with another company so what She's going to get the same reception wherever she goes. End it. You're going to do it anyway. End it. You heard it from the fabulous one himself, Mr. John Cena Sr. Again, to uh, change topics a little bit, we want to remind you to head on over to ToysRUs.com. Buy one of those belts, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, not one of those. No. The John Cena Make-A-Wish action figure. You can pre-order it now through July the 31st. It's available in stores. August the 15th, any Toys R Us nationwide. Again, you help out some great kids. For John Cena Sr., I'm Dan Marotti. Until we speak again, folks, you and yours, be well. The Millennium Wrestling Federation's 15th anniversary tour begins this fall and rolls into 2017 throughout New England, down the East Coast, and into the Carolinas. If your nonprofit organization is looking for an interactive, turnkey experience while putting the fun into fundraising, you've met the perfect tag team partner. MWF offers a variety of packages for groups of almost any size. From our live events at the Boston Garden, the Kowloon Entertainment Dining Complex, and the legendary Suffolk Downs, to high school gyms and function halls, we've presented live events everywhere. Since 2001, the MWF's mission has been simple, keep the kids off the streets. Under the leadership of President Dr. David Reese, we bring the superstars of yesterday, today, and tomorrow to your town, not for a quote-unquote wrestling show, but an event that features action-packed in-ring wrestling, autograph and pose photo opportunities, question and answer sessions, and much more. It is the best of sports and entertainment. The week of your event, we can add on to the endeavor with anti-bullying campaigns, library meet and reads, youth sport concussion seminars, and more. Our live events are fit for fans of every age, from 5 to 95. This fall, as part of our new Kids Club program, we offer live event experiences exclusively for the youngest of fans. On the flip side, we can also produce a tailor-made event for fans of an older demographic as well. We work with you every single step of the way to get the word out to fans near and far, on our local television offerings, and to over 50,000 fans and growing on our social media platform. Your success is our success. If your group has had enough of boring candy bar and wrapping paper sales and has the energy to team with our passionate fan base, bringing the MWF experience to your community is the answer to put smiles on faces while raising cash for your cause. Contact us today to get the ball rolling for your custom-made event that you'll want to bring back year after year. Don't just take it from us. Here are folks we've teamed with in the past.
already know, Kowloon Restaurant, established in 1950 and spanning four generations, serves a multi-Asian menu. Did you also know that Kowloon Restaurant is New England's premier Asian dining and entertainment complex, serving Cantonese, Sichuan, Thai, and Polynesian cuisine? And did you know that Kowloon Restaurant is also the home of the finest Japanese sushi? If you haven't dined at Kowloon Restaurant lately, then you simply haven't dined at Kowloon. Kowloon Restaurant, Route 1 North in Saugus.